Hey everybody, happy Wellness Wednesday. Marco Rodriguez coming at you. So today I've got a very special guest, Lexi Lada, uh, who's got an amazing biohack story. So Lexi, I wanna thank you for taking the time out of your busy schedule to meet with me and, and just share, us, uh, share with us a little bit about what your experience have been lately. Thanks, Marco, for having me. Um, well, you know, I've been biohacking for almost two years now. Two oh. years will be October, uh, myself and my daughter. Um, and we're so grateful that you introduced us to the life vantage and biohacking and helping us just live, you know, our most incredible lives, um, health wise, especially. Um, so my personal journey started with my daughter who has been attending your clinic for years mm -hmm. and um, us coming to you and just asking like, what else could we do, you know, to help her with her um, ADD and her dyslexia and what could just, you know, set her apart and make it a little easier. She was getting older and getting into high school. And so we wanted to overcome those obstacles. Um, and you spoke to her, which I really appreciate that you spoke directly to her and you explained what it was to her. Um, she said she wanted to try with one condition, mom had to do it with her. Right, right. So that was fun. Yeah. Um, and it really was fun because at first I was like, oh, well, I guess we'll see how this goes. Um, but being the smart mom I am, I was like, let's do this. So we went ahead and we started with just um, the Axio. You mm -hmm. know, it was easy. She didn't really know how to swallow pills and it was a drink. So making sure she drank every day before school yeah. and she liked it, but you know, it didn't have enough sugar for her. So mm -hmm. we we're like, what's next? And um, then she's like, okay, mom, I'm gonna do this the whole way. And so we jumped on board with the complete Vitality Stack and the Axio, um, picked up a bag of Skittles, and on a weekend, she learned how to swallow pills. And wow, yeah, okay. Kind of okay. was the rest of the history. So she learned how to there. swallow Skittles. Yes. So that's. That was a recommendation. Wow. I have a friend, a dear friend who's a nurse, and I was like, hey, what do I do? You know, Sophia really wants to do this, and she doesn't know how to swallow pills, but I don't know what else to do. And so we talked about, you know, putting in, in yogurt, and yeah. she was explaining to me what they do for small children who don't know how to obviously swallow pills. And she's like, you know what? Go buy a bag of Skittles, get a bottle of water, and practice, and that's what we did. <laughs> that's that's a mom hack right there. That's that's pretty good. Yeah, yeah. mom and nurse hack apparently. Absolutely. Um, and so for myself, uh, I think the biggest thing for me is how much natural energy I felt um, mm. without feeling exhausted all the time. Um, I was able to sleep so much more soundly, fill up feeling so much more refreshed. Um, one of the biggest things is that I was obsessed with coffee. I drank insane amounts of caffeine and coffee was my drug of choice, if you ask my yeah. friends and family. And um, I don't drink coffee anymore. I mean, occasionally wow. for mm -hmm. the sensory and I'll crave a little bit of the flavor, but I, I don't and I don't miss it um, because I am able at the end of my day to wind down a lot easier without having that horrible, you know, um, downslope from trying to just like get off all that extra caffeine that I was putting into myself all day long to keep the day going. Wow. So you were a coffee drinker, right? And so you switched over to the Axio. And about how long did of being on the Axio did take for you to kind of start weaning yourself off the coffee? So with the Axio, I knew that I was going to need more than just one Axio a day. So yeah. we went ahead and did one caffeinated and one decaf. Um, okay. And so I would drink caffeinated Axio on my way to work and I would still make myself coffee mm -hmm. every day at the work. And I'd say probably within a month, I noticed that I would serve it, but I wouldn't really finish it or drink it. Mm. And I was like, well, I don't need it. I didn't want it. I would get cold and I was like, well, well, I guess I'll just throw it out. Um, so I would say probably about a month. Um, but I did also include a, um, decaffeinated Axio mm -hmm. in the afternoon. And so I just started getting into that routine. I drank the caffeinated Axio on the way to the office. By the time I got there, I didn't need the coffee after wow. a while. And then in the afternoon with my lunch, I drank the decaf to push me through the last five hours yeah. of work and then came home and was good to go. You know, that's fascinating because um, the, the amount of caffeine that's in the quote unquote caffeinated version is less than a cup of green tea. I mean, right. the, the, the caffeine is minimal. Mm -hmm. um, what you're, you know, what most people experience, and, and they, they kind of um, call it a clean energy, right? A, um, a removal of the mental fog. Because one of the things that we know is that um, as we get older, mm -hmm. 
-hmm. we start to have a loss of mitochondria uh, within our cells. I don't want to get over super sciencey about it, but the mitochondria is what actually is the powerhouse of the cell. It's what gives us, our bodies and our minds energy. So um, as we get older, that mitochondria starts to die off. And so then by the time a person is 30, they've got about 70% of the mitochondria that they did as a youth. By the time you're 50, like myself, uh, you have 50% of the mitochondria. And by the time you're 70, you've got 10% of the mitochondria that you did as a youth. And it doesn't take a, a, a molecular biologist to know the difference between a 70 year old's energy level and a 17 year old's energy level. Right. So what the, uh, what the Axio, the, what, we, what I call liquid brain food, what it does is, it, number one, it helps to clean out a lot of that, uh, the toxicity that gets built up in our brain. Um, it also helps with the vitality stack. Of course, you're starting to improve uh, not only uh, the NRF2 pathway, which again, further cleans out, uh, boosts the glutathione by 300%, but also you start getting an increase in uh, what's called mitochondrial biogenesis. So it's a creation of newer and healthier mitochondria, even in the brain cells. Uh, not only that, but some of the ingredients in the Axio have been linked to some of the studies show that it promotes uh, um, a hormone in your brain or an enzyme called brain-derived neurotrophic factor, which what that hormone does is it boosts the creation of newer and healthier axons, so you have more connections. Uh, some studies even show that there is a, a certain level of neurogenesis, which is creation of newer and healthier neurons. So you, have, you start to create a much denser network within the brain. And that allows the brain to be able to communicate just much more efficiently. And then when you remove all of the toxins from the brain, that gives you, that really helps to lift that mental fog. So uh, that's, that's sort of what, why, one of the reasons why you experience what you did. And, and we find a lot of people that say that they don't need coffee. They will drink coffee occasionally because they like the, the warm cup mm -hmm. and the sensory, yeah. but it's not something that you need to function with. So right. I, I'm so glad that's happened. Now tell us a little bit about what's happening, uh, what's happened with uh, Sophia. So for Sophia, um, I mean, overall, I just personally, as her mom, I saw that she um, was able to just I guess be more confident. She um, her struggles in school um, minimized. She seemed to retain a lot of the information better. You know, not to say that it was, you know, with not without help from the clinic, of course, because mm -hmm. she was still coming and doing her neurofeedback here mm -hmm. and her OT here and her speech here. But I think all of it coming together just really helped push her past whatever it was that she felt like she couldn't hurdle over. Yeah. Um, and then overall, you know, as a, now she's a teenager, well, she just does what mom tells her to yeah, do right, mostly. Right, right. Um, but she's doing well. I mean, she uh, was able to maintain a B average. Yeah. Um, she was able to uh, actually test out of having to take finals at the end of the year last year. Wow, so she got to skip a couple cool. of those. That's pretty cool. And, um, she, you know, she, she's doing well. She's doing really well. So what would you say, if, if there's a parent out there that is sort of on the fence struggling with whether or not this whole biohacking thing uh, actually works or not, um, and, and they they're, might be open mind, what would you say to a parent like that? Um, personally, I have watched my child struggle and to know that there is an opportunity and something out there that is non-toxic to them, it's not a medication, that it's completely natural, um, that only helps heal the body um, on its, it teaches the body to heal itself mm -hmm. basically. Uh, I don't see why somebody would be objective to that. Um, personally do whatever it is you need to do as a parent, research, studies, ask every question you could possibly need to, to get reassurance that what you are doing is going to be in the best interest of your child. And um, that's what I did with you. You know, I texted you and I had questions for you and I reached Lots out to Diane and, yeah. um, you know, we, you checked in with me to yeah. see, you know, Sophia's progress, to see my progress. Um, and, you know, you've known Sophia a very long time and mm -hmm. I'm sure that you, and even the staff here at the clinic saw a difference in her. her, her teacher saw a difference in her and the family saw a difference in her. And I think that, that that's great, you know, to, yeah. to have, um, support as well yeah. um, but as a parent there is never anything you shouldn't do to do whatever it takes to make 
your child's life when they have those type of struggles Absolutely. just a little bit better Absolutely. or a little bit easier I should say to face um, yeah. because at some point they grow up and that's basically what I feel like I'm doing I'm teaching Sophia that um, she will have all the skill set and the upper hand mm -hmm. uh, when it comes to her health and her her you know mental capacity yeah. by introducing her to this and showing her that it does make a difference when it's in her system um, and just guiding her best I can. Absolutely. It's so important. Now, you have had such great success, not only yourself, but also with your daughter, mm -hmm. that you've started sharing this with a lot of other people, right? Yes. Yeah. Um, have you heard any other stories from other people that have been, you don't have to necessarily mention their name or anything, but um, any other uh, success stories that you've heard? So um, my biggest success other than my daughter is going to be um, my mom, who is a breast cancer survivor. Mm -hmm. um, and as you well enough know, I'm sure that, you know, when cancer, um, once you go through chemo and everything, your body's just never the same. Right. Uh, one of the biggest issues is the fact that they have a depleted immune system. Mm -hmm. uh, so for my mom, her uh, immune system was always just a mess and she would get sick and when she would get sick she would go down pretty hard wow. for long periods of time mm -hmm. um, it wasn't you know a quick turnaround it was doctor visits it was you know days in bed and um, you know I got invited to a presentation um, even though we were already biohacking with the great Carrie Williams and mm -hmm. I was like okay I gotta meet this girl because I really talked awesome. about her yeah, yeah. Um, and at that she you know she talked about how she had heard personal stories of those who had benefited who had been cancer survivors um, with their bodies healing mm -hmm. and so I called my mom that day and I was like look I don't know what's gonna take but I really want you to do this and I think it'd be great for you um, and she's been biohacking for a year now and she has rarely gotten sick it's been pretty amazing her immune system is so much stronger um, I feel like you know I'm sure you've heard of chemo brain as well oh, absolutely. Uh, she says that when she's on the axio that she definitely sees the difference she's able to retain and focus so much better um, and I think it's just helped her overall just yeah. everything and you know it's interesting because um, you know nowadays with everything that's going on with COVID uh, our immune system is so important and um, you know, you hear a lot of talk about whether um, you know the, the convalescent plasma or uh, hydroxychloroquine or all these other different treatments and medications. But very few people are talking about the fact that there are natural ways to build up your immune system. It's almost to the point where uh, it's sort of been forgotten. And anyone, anyone who brings up the possibility that your own immune system is designed to fight for you. Um, you almost are called a conspiracy theorist, or you're kind of uh, uh, labeled as, you know, an, an extremist. And, and so when you think about it, the human race has existed for thousands and thousands and thousands of years without medication. And right. it's only been within the last 75 to 100 years that we have been convinced that we can't live without medication. Right. Um, and so that's one of the things that I really enjoy about biohacking is that my immune system is so high. And I'll hear people who say, well, aren't you afraid of catching COVID? Not at all. In fact, I have a few of my clients who did catch it, never showed a single symptom, not one symptom, because their immune system immediately went to work and destroyed it. Um, uh, once a couple of the uh, researchers out there are saying that, with, and I don't want to turn this into a COVID uh, um, uh, conversation, but we're talking about immune system. Mm -hmm. Well, biohacking improves your glutathione by 300%. Glutathione is such a huge, huge part. It's an enzyme that you have inside your body. It's a huge part of uh, your immune system. And if you can boost that by 300%, boy, it really puts your body in a position where it can fight and it can, uh, it can defend itself against all of those environmental assaults. So. Um, I, I'm really glad that you're doing well and Sophia and your mom and I know that there have been other people that you've talked to as well yes. and have had great benefits. Um, so I, I want to thank you again for taking the time out to, to meet with me well, and for uh, I look me. forward to hearing from you again and, and hearing about your ongoing continued biohack uh, experiences. All right, so guys, that concludes our interview for today. Uh, again, thanks for tuning in, guys. And remember, as I always like to say, there is a better way to live.